I am Claire from Creative the Ottoway and this is our quick make for today. We slide the belly band off and there's hidden treasure inside this one. Okay, so I'm going to run through with you how to make this beautiful card. Okay, we've made a twist and pop card before and this is a variation on that, but I'd like to think a, a little bit easier. Okay, so what do we need? You're going to need your paper trimmer. You are going to need a couple of sheets of A4 um, and some sheets of, well I've used 6x6 six six, um, designer series paper but you do go through five sheets of that. So if you've got a piece of 12x12 12 12, you'll get more use out of it. So the first thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to use a couple of colours from the new in colour. This is Bumblebee, um, so I've got a sheet of that and then I want a contrast on my inside so I'm using just jade as well. So we first of all let me move that. You need to make these two pieces. So this is your outside of your card and this is your inside of the card. So for the outside, I've already decided that the outside is going to be Bumblebee. So I need, for the size of my card, I need a piece cut four and a half inches by nine. So it's easier to cut it in half or more or less. So four and a half. Bigger work area. Okay, so nine and cut that. And at the same time, what I need to do is score that halfway. So half of nine is four and a half. And be very careful, move the blade out of the way and just score it. Okay, so that's the outside of my card. And you can see the fold there, just fold that and that's the outside of your card done. Now while I'm about it, I'm going to cut the inside as well. And that needs to be a six. Oh, maybe I've done this wrong. Maybe I needed the outside green. <gasps> mm. oh. This is the trouble with live. <laughs> Right. Oh, and the cut has come off as the score has come off as well. We're having a good day. I'm going to cut that again because I do want green on the outside. So what was that? Four and a half. Move that up. Four and a half. That's alright, I'll make the yellow one later. For the challenge this week. Four and a half by a nine. That's it. I knew I should have labelled the card. And then score at four and a half. Because this is the right outside score. Okay. And that is the outside of my card. Now the inside needs to be... Well, I want it to be yellow. And I've cut that already at six by six. So that looks a bit odd at the moment. It looks like it's nowhere near going to fit inside. Um, we'll come back to the inside in a moment. Let's do the outside. So I quite like layering the outside. Um, I don't know if you can see on this one, I've done a layer of white and then an inside layer as well. And I think that actually... I might go back to using the yellow. Oh, I don't know. Let's go back. So, outside piece, uh, outside piece of card. I've cut this at. Bearing in mind the base square is four and a half. This is cut at four and a quarter, and I'm going to stick that on. 
and then my designer series paper I'm doing that quarter of an inch smaller so I'm doing that at four so just to recap that's your outside of the card when it's shut this makes a four and a half inch square the white layering on the top is four and a quarter by four and a quarter and the green on top of that is four inches by four inches so I'm just going to bore you a bit and just stick all that on plenty of glue stick that on the outside and this is just the outside front of the card at the moment okay so that's going on there and then my green remember all designer paper from stamping up as two sides i think i might go with the wording okay oh put glue on there as well it really isn't a good morning for me today. Okay, I'm going to turn that over, stick that on there. Okay, just go around the edge, make sure I'm happy with it. So that's the front. Turn it over. I'm going to do exactly the same with the back. Uh, glue all over the white. You don't have to put double layers, it's just, I quite like the double layer, especially on the outside. I think it just gives it a nicer finish. Smooth all those edges down. Right, remember on this one, it was that way around. So just making sure that I've not got it upside down, the writing. Because I might cry <laughs> if I did. Okay, so that goes on the back, in the middle of there. Now it doesn't really matter at all which is the front and which is the back at this case, at this time. Okay, front, back. Okay, I'm also now going to decorate the inside before I do anything else. Now, the inside, I am not going to do two layers. Um, one, because I want the background to just merge and I want the bit that opens up to be the focus. Um, again, this paper is two-sided, but I'm going to go with the green side. So I'm going to stick that down. These are four and a quarter by four and a quarter because I'm not doing a white layer. Um, I don't know whether you can see on camera. It still leaves a nice frame around. Just hold that up so you can see. There's still a nice just jade frame. And I've chosen a pattern that it doesn't matter which way around I put it as well. Just in case I stick it the wrong way around. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so that goes on there. And that is the inside outside of my card done okay and put that to one side about there so you can see it now we come to this bit this is a six by six bit that's going to open up and in order for it to pop like you saw what you need to do is fold it in every way now you can just fold it with a bone folder um, or you can do it with your um, scorer and just line it up. So it is six by six. So remember score and not cut. So I am scoring it in half, which is three. Okay, turning it and scoring it again at three. So that gives you four squares. Then I'm turning it diagonal and just lining it up on the cutting line. There and there. I don't know if you can see. Oh, just move that again there and there. And then scoring it diagonal. Now what I do when I'm doing it diagonally, whether it's a cut or a scorer, I bring it into the middle 
and then score or cut because otherwise you end up with um, squished corners. Okay, let's do this one. So there, and there again. Bring it in a bit. I've obviously used this too much because it keeps popping out. Okay, so that's all my triangles done. Now, using my bone folder, I am just gonna something up. Just gonna burnish all those score lines diagonally. Which one haven't I done? That one. And across. So you can see they're all burnished. Now, what happens with the inside of the card? I'll just take that off. Is you want a square bit or a diamond bit as you're looking at it there and there okay so I need to think that I need that bit square and fold this bit in does that make sense and then fold this bit in and that becomes the piece that you're gonna stick on in there or if I show you on here is when you stick it, you're gonna do it like that. But I'm gonna decorate it first. The reason I keep this shape here, this diamond shape here, is so that I can put a sentiment or it gives me somewhere to write um, the message inside that I want to write. Okay, so I'm gonna bear that in mind when I'm doing it. Now, how do you do those little triangles? How fiddly is that? Not at all. So again, you take your cutter, your scorer, and what you need to do is make squares that are two and three quarter by two and three quarter. Now on this one, I've just got two panels that are white and the rest are patterned. So I'm gonna do the same here. So I need a square that's two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Um, quarters by two and three quarters okay now do you remember what I said about cutting it in diagonally okay so I'm lining up the cutting line there and there I do want to cut it this time but I still bring the cutter to the middle press down and go up and then go down again and then you don't get those um, squished in corners, okay? So they're my two bits that are going to go there, okay? It's, it's helpful to put it there so that you can see, so you know which bits are coming next. Now, I need three more squares that are cut in half. Now I've chosen some uh, designer paper that's from Flowers for Every Season. Um, because it's double-sided, I need three squares, but some I'm going to use one side and some I'm going to use the other side. Um, that will make sense in a minute. So let's cut the three squares. So it's two and three quarters. Okay. By two and three quarters. That's one. Two and three quarters by two and three quarters. That's two. And the last one. Oh, nearly did two and a half. Two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Three. Okay, so I've got three squares. I know they're going to fit. Now I'm going to cut them diagonally and do exactly what I did before. Line them up diagonally, bring the blade to the middle, go up and down. Two perfect triangles. As long as you don't look too closely, that is. <laughs> okay. Up, down. Triangles. 
obviously they all look the same at the moment but it has anything the magic happens in the making okay so i've got my pieces ready how are we doing for time oh yeah we've got plenty of time so um they're going to be there i'm going to stamp them last i think these now it's up to you which way round you want them okay i'm just going to put place them all on so you can see them you could just have it all the same pattern like this or you turn one over and it's a riot of color okay i'm going to do this one here and this one here now there is no set way to lay it out you can turn it round and have it going that way it really won't matter you can have it which way round you want but just so that i glue them on properly i'm going to lay them on there and then i'm going to start gluing it Just aiming for somewhere in that triangle. You don't have to be too precise. It's the overall look that you and everyone else will notice. Okay, that one goes in there. Like that. And good old Tombow glue gives you a bit of wiggle room anyway. Luckily, with stamping up, I don't have to think too much about what matches, which paper matches with which, because in a whole pack of designer paper, you get all the colours that coordinate with each other. So I don't know if you can see on this one, you've got the bumblebee pattern and the colour and just jade. And on this one, you've got bumblebee and just jade, so it automatically matches. I used to spend hours trying to match up colours. Not anymore. Job done. Okay, so that's looking okay. There's a few little bits I'm not happy with, but I will sort those out afterwards. Stamping. Now, it's going to be viewed like a diamond, like that. So I need to be aware of that when I'm stamping. Not to stamp it that way, but to stamp it that way that makes sense. I've got a couple of stamps that I like. Comfort and Hope. This has got sending you a paper hug, which just seems appropriate when you're getting a card from me. So I'm going to use that on that side. And then on the other one, I have got this stamp set which is Many Mates, and that's got quite a lot of different sentiments that I like, because you make me smile, um, I'm glad you were born. <laughs> Just Thinking of You is the one I'm going to use, and I'm going to put that on that side. So I am going to again use the coordination from Stampin' Up to help me. I'm using the Just Jade ink, which is already on the Designer Series paper, and I'm going to do the... Saving Hugs stamp set first and try and use a block that's as near to the size of your stamp as possible and that will help. Right, make sure you've got it the right way around. Sending you. Okay, fingers crossed and toes. Oh, that's a really nice green. I like a good green. Like that. So that's that one. And what was the other one? 
because you make me smile nope just thinking of you yeah because that's quite a bigger size stamp so it's going to stand out as well okay i'm just going to put that on and make sure i've got enough ink on there and again i need to do it on the triangle edge Ta -da! wow on screen stamping okay so i'm happy with those put that lid back on there and let's stick those on okay and that way around oh that looks nice and green it just makes the just jade green in the triangles stand out a bit more as well i think Gonna stick on that paper now. Okay, there's that bit. Okay, so let me just wipe that so that doesn't stick. So that's my inside done. You can see there's just enough room to write something if you wanted to as well. Now, those bits come in and over, and that bit gets folded down. So I'll just show you again. That's the bit where the sentiments are. So I'm bringing those two corners in to meet there. And I'm pressing that down there. I bring my card over and I'm doing it by sight. You could measure where the middle of your card is. Um, it's up to you. And also you want it to be at that point there. Okay. So that when you open it, it does pop open and it doesn't get stuck halfway. So when you're happy with the placement of it, okay, I just want to move it back a little bit. Put some glue on this bit here, just this bit. Now I'm putting quite a bit because it's going to be popped open a few times. Now I'm going to bring that over and I'm just going to press on that just for a few minutes Ooh, and knock the camera. Okay, Tombow glue is pretty quick drying anyway. Okay, so from the outside it doesn't look anything. Turn that bit over, hold on to the inside and there's a little bit of glue seeping out there, so I'm just going to get rid of that now. Okay. Put some more glue on this side. Um, okay, bring that side over. And press down again. might be enough. Okay, let's turn it over. Okay, you ready? Let's see if it works. <coughs> Ta -da! There's a little bit of glue coming out there that I don't want. But that's it. Ta -da! There's one. And this is the other one. I think I really like that. It does use up a lot of card, but that's okay. And it's a really nice card to send someone. The only difference with this one is the colours. And then to finish off, all I've done is made a belly band, which is just an inch piece of card all the way round. Um, I've put a strip of Whisper White on the front and punched a couple of flowers. And that just finishes it off like that and I'll do the same with this one and we're there half an hour hopefully you've enjoyed that I'd love to see your makes and don't forget if you make it in blue and yellow fits in with this week's challenge thanks for watching ladies see you soon bye